Welcome everybody to another YouTube exclusive Voice of Nick show. We're going to be doing more Pillars of the Earth. And uh, looks like we got a bunch of options here, so let's go see what we can do. Oh my god, look at all these buildings. Find Bartholomew's money. Current location, Winchester. Bartholomew's money. Uh, oh, he said a specific thing. I forgot what he said, though. He seemed talkative for a group of monks. What are they doing out on the street? Uh, excuse me? Oh, more pilgrims? How wonderful, Brother Bernardus. Does that mean we can now depart for the Cathedral of St. Swithin? Praise be! St. Swithin will heal my foot! Oh! Pan my eyes, Brother Bernardus. Praise be! But we're not pilgrims. We are looking for a priest our father met right here, at the Westgate. It was about three weeks ago. Sorry, my children. We only just arrived here. We are here to visit the shrine of St. Swithin. Surely St. Swithin will help you with your ear, my boy. Praise be! Oh! Oh! I'm so happy my foot is going to be all right. Can you see other pilgrims already, Brother Bernardus? Not yet, Brother Peter, not yet. They look at everyone passing by, waiting for somebody. Ah, oh, look at that handsome young man. Ah, uh... Good day, my ladies. So well spoken. And look, he even has a battle scar. <laughs> <laughs> like what you see, handsome. You can ride two of us, young lord, if you can pay. Uh, have you seen a priest? Our father met him here at the Westgate. He owes us money. Oh, you're talking about him. That's where he got all that money. <laughs> what? He even paid for Mary's dress. He didn't want to at first. All she had to do was stroke his bald head. Where is the priest? What's his name? Don't know his name, but he's a regular at that one inn. The Boar, close by the North Gate. Smells like piss there. Shall I teach you, love? How to fuck a man, or a woman? You can make a fortune with that little mouth of yours. But in a year, you look like me. <laughs> Dark. A priest spent a lot of money at an inn called the Boar. The Checker. The Lazy Mare. Oh, this looks like the North Gate. Okay. Inn of the Boar. Okay. Williams men. We must be careful. All right, let's not go down that street then. It seems closed. This is the place, but it looks closed. Um, excuse me. We're looking for a priest who stole our money. Word is, he comes to this place regularly. A priest? Uh, I, sorry, dear children. I, I don't seem to be able to recall anyone, uh, anyone who fits that description. But that little stable boy might know. He knows everyone who comes and goes. Oh, where can we find him? When he's not working at the boar, he's doing small chores around town. He's always busy, the little chap. Where's the green cap? It's adorable, I tell you. <laughs> a stable boy from the boar might know the priest. He wears a green cap. There's something going on in the market here. I really like this part where we're going around the city. It makes the city feel even more lived in. It already had do great details. I don't care what he'll do with them. I just hope the coin's right. You're playing hide and seek with two children. You should pay us. Or are you not having any fun? Oh no, loads of fun. But, uh... Hey, there they are, over there! Uh-oh. All right then. Let's get you back home. You have a lot to answer for. Stay away from us. Callie! No! You can't run. You can't hide. Damn, there's a lot of stuff in this game where you can kind of like screw yourself by walking into the wrong area. Which is really interesting, but I'm not used to it. Usually in an adventure game like this, you can walk wherever you want. 
but like if you click the wrong thing, you'll be screwed. So in this, it's like almost a stealth mechanic. Okay, so we're it saved at the boar. So let's just canonize the fact that we do you saw think this. He'll let us watch? I don't care what he'll do with them. I just hope the coin's right. You're playing hide and seek with two children. You should pay us. Or are you not having any fun? Oh no, loads of fun. But uh Hey! There they are! Oh, okay. Over there! So it's just a matter of time before they notice us. Oh Ali! No! You Try again. So we'll just go there, hear do the dialogue, and then leave. I don't care what he'll do with them. I just hope the coin's right. Richard, run! There but Ali! Oh, so there we got an achievement for that, actually. A brush with death. Okay. See, that's why we do it. Wearing a green cap looks busy. That's what you get when you work with halfwits. How am I supposed to move this barrel if it's twice as heavy as me? <clears throat> Let me help. Very impressive. Thank you for that. I'm always telling them, if you want me to restock your kitchen, don't let them cram the barrels to the brim. So, what was it you wanted to know? Um, do you know a monk who frequents the boar a lot? The boar? I used to work there. The boar, the lazy mare, and two private kitchens. You're talking about Father Ralph. Thought the women had sucked him dry, but he always comes back with more money. But he only spends it on beer and ladies. Never has a tip for me. <sighs> Where can we find him? He's a priest at St. Michael. One of them churches round here. Which one is it? It's close to the East Gate. But don't look for him inside. He likes to light around in his back alley. Oh, thank you. You've been very helpful. Pleasure. See you around. Father Ralph from a church named St. Michael probably has our money. I wonder if we can give this guy this money. I owe those people nothing. Oh, okay then. That's them! Ah! Don't let him get away again! Uh... Where are ya? <laughs> we'll find ya! I guess they let us get away again. St. Michael. A crooked church in the shadow of the city wall. wonder if anyone still comes here to pray. Are you Father Ralph? What if I am? Does that mean yes? I guess so. He's the only monk around. What do you want? Well, I am the son of Bartholomew, the Earl of Shiring. So? Our father gave you money for safekeeping. I don't know what you're talking about. What do you mean? I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. Now piss off. So you're saying there's no money? Right. But my father said... Your father lied then. We should talk to the sheriff. It'll be my word against the word of a jailed traitor. And now give me some peace. I'm hungry. He's right, isn't he? Look at him. He's just a bitter old man. He's no match for you. I can't just rob him. Then make him obey you. Be the one in charge. You're supposed to be an Earl. Act like one. Ali, I don't know how. People don't respect us anymore. It's all right. I'll take care of it. We need proof that he's lying. Like what? Maybe something he recently purchased that a monk couldn't normally afford. That's smart, Ali. And then? I don't know. At least we'll be sure that he's lying, right? 
Maybe if we expose him, he'll give in. Are you sure? No, but you can see the guilt eating at him already. Keep an eye on him. I'll have a look around. Do we, does it count as evidence that he bought the dress for that uh, one lady? Smells like very strong beer. Must have cost a fortune. There's a strap of leather showing underneath. It's too heavy. Can we get him to pick it up? An open fire used for cooking. One still smells the meat. He smells like beer. The soup is brimming with expensive meat. He's avoiding eye contact. Fat little chickens, so close to a fire. Brave Richard. He wants to be as strong as father, but he seems so lost. He has to fear us. But we're just children. Why would he? Hmm. Father's dagger. Maybe we could try that. It must be him. It smells like the monk. Maybe I can stab this? Hey. Oh, is this yours? Oh, I didn't think a poor monk could afford something like this. <laughs> oh, so that removes some of the weight. I get it. It's father's money belt. The pouch is missing. Richard, I found it. Oh, no. He took all the money. What now? Where did it all go? As nervous as he looks, he probably has it on him. Don't pretend you didn't see, Monk. I found this under your barrel. You are a thief! That strap proves nothing. You seem very certain of this. Sheriff! Hush, you stupid brats. The sheriff is a bastard. He'll take everything for himself. But first, he'll take your hands. Sheriff or no sheriff, you won't get your money. Ali, this isn't going anywhere. Well, at least we know now that he won't call for help. You're about to commit a great sin. If we don't get that money, we'll starve. Start begging for arms, then. You may not know it, but a lot of people live that way. Give us the money. It belonged to a traitor to the crown. By giving it to me, he paid his debt to God. We will make you pay, you monster. You wouldn't hurt a man of the church. I guess we could try to use the dagger. Give us the money. It belonged to a traitor to the crown. You wouldn't hurt a man of the... Yeah. Well, what else? Maybe we could use the knife on the chickens? I'd rather not alarm anyone. Hmm. We need this for ourselves. Can we use the knife on him? I warn you, I have friends nearby. If you scream, I will show them your beer soaked belt and tell them what a thieving liar you are. You wouldn't harm me.
Richard, you go over there. What? Why? Make sure no one's watching. He... What? You're a devil. I'm going to cut out your eyes one by one. First, the left eye. No! Oh, oh, please don't! Where's the money? Here, here, I got it on me. Father's money? That priest spent a good part of it. Where's the rest? Gone. Gone where? I spent it. Let's take what we've got and go. Uh, all right. I may come back one day, and then I'll collect what you owe us. Something in my eye. You were wonderful, Ali. You scared him after death. Yes, well, now, come on. Father wants us to find Aunt Edith. Look for Aunt Edith's home village, Huntley. On the road to Gloucester, my feet started to bleed. I remembered a cobbler who lived nearby in the town of Haystead who could sell us some boots. But taking the detour would cost us both money and time. Hmm. Seems worth it, though. The cobbler was a quiet man with little love for children. When I asked for a pair of his cheapest boots, he stared at me, trying to measure my query's worth. Then he lifted his finger and pointed at a pair that would cost us more than half of what we had. Damn. The cobbler surveyed us once more. He took in Richard's sword while listening to the impatient but uncommon way I talked. In the end, he held up the boots he'd been working on, unfinished, rough, and frayed, then suggested a figure that was lower, but still overpriced. Uh... I guess... buy the cheap ones? The boots were really nothing more than a pair of small sacks. When the fabric didn't hold on its own, the cobbler offered two wiry strings to tie them to my ankles. Ultimately, the rough fabric still hurt, but less than before. In the afternoon, the sky darkened and the temperature dropped drastically. We considered setting up camp to allow us an opportunity to warm our worn down feet. However, we were already running low on food and would soon need to reach our destination. Set up camp or continue walking? Uh, man, I don't think we should camp. In the hills, there are a lot of poor small holdings. We asked a shepherd for directions to Huntley. It's just down the road, he answered. I thanked him and gave Richard a hopeful push. Look for Aunt Edith and Uncle Simon. Abandoned house, wow. game keeps getting grimmer. Ladies and gents, that's going to do it for this episode of Pillars of the Earth. If you want to see more of these, make sure you're subscribed on this YouTube channel where they come out every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. If you want to see more of me, I have a secondary YouTube channel now for vlog content. You can find the Voice of Nick vlogs through uh, links on this uh, YouTube channel stuff, or you can just search for the Voice of Nick vlogs. Guys, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.